Welcome back to Balanceful Wellness. I'm Connor McDonald. As some of you may or may not know, I teach yoga outside of the walls of Balance Flow, including a format called Sculpt. Some of you may, may be familiar with the format and you may be addicted to it. Others may run from it and others may be curious what it's all about. Sculpt is a yoga format that targets a few different benefits. One of them being it benefits your vinyasa practice. A lot of yogis are trying to get into inversions, uh, tripod headstand, dolphin. Those are all positions or asanas that require certain muscle group strength. So sculpt format is a perfect format to strengthen those muscle groups, again, to enhance your vinyasa practice. It's also resistance training. As we move through a vinyasa modern power practice, we are building strength throughout our bodies. And as we put the weights down and flow without, it creates that much overall strength and balance within our bodies. It also promotes cardiovascular strength as well as building lean muscle mass. Today, I'm gonna walk through a quick sunbeam with weights to show you alignment and more importantly, safety as you move with your weights. Here we go. For starters, you're going to need a mat. Check out the link on this, on this video blog for reviews.com, which will give you an idea of many different mats to try out. The mat that I'm using today is a Manduka mat. It's been rated as one of their top mats for vinyasa practice. You're also going to need a set of weights. Today, I'm gonna to use a lighter set. If you're new to sculpt, try a set of threes or five dumbbells. If you're feeling stronger, grab a set of eight or 10s and know that you can always switch them out. Again, I'm gonna walk you through a quick sun B with weights so we can move safely and effectively with your weights. All right, I'm gonna start out with crescent lunge. So I'm gonna go right into the position. I'm gonna grab my lighter set of weights and I'm gonna head right into crescent lunge. So my right foot is forward and it's stacked, my right knee is stacked over my right ankle. As I move up, my shoulders are stacked directly over my hips and you can see that I have a slight bend in my elbows. I'm not gonna lock my elbows out. I'm gonna create a generous bend for a safer position. From there, I'm gonna open up into warrior two. Most important thing is you transition with your weights. I'm gonna bring my weights to my shoulders and I'm gonna open up into warrior two. My footwork is the same if I had weights or if I did not. My back foot is parallel with the back studio wall. My front foot faces the front studio mirrors. My right knee stacks over my right ankle. My shoulders are gonna stack directly over my hips. My elbows are bent. What I'm not gonna do is straighten my arms out or lock my arms out. That creates a lot of unnecessary work and tension in my shoulder girdle that I'm not trying to target at this moment. So I created mini W in my arms. From there, I'm gonna punch my weights high and arrive into star pose. I bring my feet to a 45 degree angle and I punch my weights directly overhead, bringing a slight bend again back into my elbows. From there, I'll drop into horse pose and begin to open up my hip girdle. My weights stay right at heart center. As I transition back to the front of the room, I'm going to punch my weights high again. From there, I'm going to exhale, open back up, warrior two, maintain the bend in my elbows. From there, big vinyasa transition. Inhale, reverse warrior, punch my right weight high, my back weight rests on my back left hip, and from there, I'm going to exhale and pull my weights to my shoulders, pivot my body forward, and safely, gently place my weights at the top of my mat, step back, down dog, from there, shift forward, low plank, up dog, right back into olive dog. It is extremely important if you do have weights in your hands and you're flowing with your weights that you're moving with purpose, that you're moving safely. Again, if you're looking for a great mat, check out reviews.com. Manduka has a great pro light mat that I use today. There's a lot of options out there. Thanks for hanging with me. Have a great day.